Hi, this is Evan from WCCF Tech, and it's not just the 14th generation Meteor Lake CPU architecture that has been confirmed by the Blue Camp, but also a bootlog of its upcoming Xeon HEDT lineup, which includes the W3495 CPU with 56 cores and 112 threads that has also been spotted. From previous reports, we know that Intel's Sapphire Rapids HEDT workstation lineup will come in two flavors, the expert lineup featuring up to 56 cores and 120 threads, and the mainstream lineup which will top out at just 24 cores and 48 threads. We have already seen the Xeon W53433, a mainstream chip in the family leak out with a total of 16 gold gold cores, 32 threads, and 45 megabytes of L3 cache. And we now have a new part that is definitely part of the expert lineup and tops out at 56 cores and 112 threads. Starting with Intel Sapphire Rapids AGT family, the company will be focused more on the workstation platform. This is evident by the naming convention which has dropped the use of core branding and switched to Xeon. Just like the core lineup, the Xeon chips will come in various segments starting with the Xeon W9, Xeon W7, W5, and the Xeon W3. Each segment coming with its own models and various configurations that will become compatible with the next generation Fishhawk Falls platform. The X series CPUs and chipsets are no longer going to exist and will be replaced by the W series chipsets which will include the Sapphire Rapid Xeon W CPU, W790 680 chip and W790 and W680 chipset for workstation users. This is the same approach that AMD has taken for its Threadripper lineup of CPUs, moving them to pro status and workstation only. As for the newly leaked chip, this is definitely a top end Intel Sapphire Rapids HED model. The Intel Xeon W9 34 95 CPU looks to be an engineering sample with its 1.0 GHz base clock speed. It carries 56 cores and 112 threads. The CPU should carry the same 112 megabytes of L3 cache as the Xeon Platform 8490H, which is the top chip on offer with the Sapphire Rapids SP lineup. The CPU carries both AVX 512 and AMX instructions, so it's definitely going to offer a major performance uplift in apps that benefit from those, but at the cost of a higher power draw. Furthermore, Intel seems to have an AVX 512 up and running on its workstation parts, whereas the mainstream consumer platform has totally gotten rid of it entirely. AMD is taking a different approach and will have the AVX 512 on consumer level chips like its upcoming Ryzen 7000 series desktop CPUs. But what do you think? Would you grab a workstation part or grab a Ryzen 7000 if you're dying for that AVX 512? Let us know in the comments down below, and don't forget to subscribe and hit that bell icon for more fantastic tech news.